and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making my homemade rolls. This is a pretty fast, pretty easy recipe. You should have rolls from the time you start to finish um, within about an hour. So I'm just going to get started here. And right now I have three cups of flour, all purpose flour. And to that we are going to add one package of instant or active dry yeast. And then also to that, we are going to add just a pinch of salt. Not much because actually this recipe calls um, for unsalted butter, but all I have is salted butter. So we're just gonna put up just a pinch. But if you go with the unsalted butter, you are going to want to add um, one teaspoon of salt. If you go with the salted butter, uh, just add just a pinch of salt. So here we go. Okay. And then also to that, we are going to add a fourth of a cup of sugar. And then we're just going to mix this up. For a minute, dry, mix up all your dry ingredients here. And then to that, we are going to add one cup of warm milk. Now I put this in uh, the fridge for about 45 seconds or so um, in the microwave, out of the fridge. <laughs> so, and that brought it up to about 100, 105 degrees or so. And that's about right about where you want it. Okay, and then also to that, we're going to add one large egg. And then we are going to put this in our mixer. And we're going to want to put it on the dough section, your dough put. And we're going to bring it down here. Now we're going to put this on about number two. We're going to let that go for about a minute or so. I hope you guys are all having a really good day. Um, this Saturday, I put it out, um, me and my daughter Amanda, we're going to be doing um, a live, and I'm going to be doing an auction um, for a couple of my quilts. I've got about seven quilts I need to put up for auction, um, so we're going to be doing that. Plus, I have some Hummels. Um, they're the old, original Hummels. Let me grab a couple of them for you. Now these are just a couple. I've got about 20 of them I need to get rid of. And some of these are from like the 1930s. They're the original Hummels. Um, so we're going to be auctioning off all these Hummels that I've got. And we're probably only going to start them out at about maybe uh, $5 a piece or so on the auction. So um, they're going to be very, very cheap for you to pick up. Some of them go for actually a couple hundred dollars, but um, I don't really want to make that much off of them. I just want to get rid of them um, and do this auction because I've got uh, a couple of vet bills I really 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 need to get paid off and we just don't have the money coming in right now so I thought maybe I would do a live auction for everybody and try to get rid of um, some of my quilts. Okay so that's been on for about, an, uh, about a minute and then to that we are going to add a third of a cup of softened butter. That in there. Oops, don't want that there. Okay. And then we are going to turn this back on. And put it up to about three or so for just a minute. We're going to let this go for a couple of minutes here. We're going to let that go really good. Uh, start it to get it nice and mixed up for you all. Um, this is a pretty easy recipe. I hope you guys like to make homemade rolls. Um, you don't call for much. It only takes a few minutes to get it down and 
get them all get it all mixed up and so yeah um so i hope everybody joins us and also um the last quill auction i had um her name is hippie grandma so if you see this um i still haven't heard anything from you um i know you've been trying to get a hold of me um but apparently it's not coming through to my email so I don't know if you want to try and get a hold of me again through my email. It's hcopper43 at AOL.com um, and just see maybe if um, it'll go through. I don't know why uh, I'm not getting your emails or anything, but I sure would love to get this quilled out to you that you want on the auction um, a couple, what was it, a couple, two or three weeks ago, so yeah. And this is going really, really good. It's getting mixed up really good. And then after it goes for a couple minutes, we're going to knead it. Um, we're going to put it out here on the, on the uh, flowered surface here. A little bit more flour here. And you're going to want to probably rise, let these rolls rise for about 15-20 minutes or so in a warm place. Now I put, I've already put my uh, oven on 375. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 375. And these rolls turn out so fluffy um, and so good. I just, I don't know why they turn out that way, but... They're, it's a really good recipe, and I like nice, soft, fluffy rolls for dinner, so yeah. And I don't know if you guys have been wondering about Murphy. He sure is getting big. Um, he's sleeping right now. He's in his cage, and he's sleeping. Oh my gosh, he's getting so big, he weighs like 30 pounds now, <laughs> right? So, um, after I get through with all this, um, I'll bring him in and for you guys to see and see how big he's getting. <laughs> and he's just such a handful, but he's kind of grown out of the baby stage a little bit better than he was. So, yeah, and I just love him to death. <laughs> he's so darn cute. I call him my baggy butt because <laughs> he looks like he's got a baggy full of butt. <laughs> So anyways, yeah. Alright, so we're going to, oh, let's lift this up here. Let's get all our dough off of here. I don't know why, but that keeps going off on me. I just barely touch my stove and it just goes off on me. Okay. So I'm going to grab this out of here. And it's got a really good texture to it once you uh, take it out of your bowl here. Come on out of there. You don't have to knead it much once you take it out of your bowl. We're just going to put a little bit of flour on it. You're going to want to flatten it out a little bit, not too much. You're going to want to put it in a circle, probably about, gosh, I don't know, about an inch thick or so. There we go. And then we are going to take knife here. We are going to cut it into uh, 16 pieces here. Let's see. Cut it. Let's see if we can get a better knife. Let's see. Lots better. Oh yeah, way better. <laughs> Okay, so we got cut in half there. We're going to do 
16 pieces. Okay, we're going to do 12 is what we're going to do here. Alrighty. And then I've also got a pan here for our rolls. And is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some butter in the bottom here of my pan. And I usually just take my fingers and just go ahead and do it that way. Sometimes it seems like using your hands and your fingers work a lot better than, you know, putting using like a, a certain utensil or, yeah. Okay. So we're going to roll these up now, these rolls, and I'm going to let them sit for at least, gosh, 20 minutes or so to rise just a little bit. I might even make it 30 minutes, but probably about 20 minutes or so. And like I said, I have my oven on, preheated. So we're just going to fold these over a little bit like that. And then we're just going to kind of roll them into a ball. There we go. And we're going to just place them right in there just like that. And like I said, what, what's it been? About 12, 13 minutes or so since I started this recipe. Yeah. So you're going to have rolls in under an hour. And they come out nice and fluffy. And oh, they're so good. So good. And I don't know a lot of people. I don't know if they add. Ooh. Come here. This one might be a little bigger. I don't know if they add eggs to their um, roll mix or to their breads, but I do believe that might be the reason the egg and the butter might be the reason why these come out so, um, so nice and fluffy. Yeah. I think a couple of these are probably going to be a little bigger than I wanted them to. I wanted to try and make at least 16, but it looks like I got 12 here. Alrighty. Ooh, looks like I got a little fly buzzing around here. That's one thing I don't like when I'm cooking. <laughs> we don't like flies in our food. No, no, no. I remember once I made a homemade pizza and um, I cooked it and everything and it was really funny because me and my ex-husband were joking like before I put it in the oven about flies because there were so many flies in the house that day and apparently one landed on my pizza right before I put it in the oven. <laughs> and guess who got the piece? It was my ex-husband. <laughs> and he's just sitting there. He goes to cut it up, goes to cut a piece off with a fork, and there's a fly right there on his pizza. <laughs> he thought I had done it on purpose because we had been talking about it, actually, before that happened. And I was like, no, why, why would I do that, right? <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, yeah, and it seems like they're really bad this year too, and it's awful hot. I don't know where you guys are living, where anybody lives right now, but very, very hot in Utah. 
um, the last three days we've been up over a hundred degrees so and I know a lot of other places like South Dakota and Arizona um, places like that they get really really hot so and I really feel for you guys who live in them places because oh man and I remember when I was about 11 years old I had went to South Dakota with my aunt and um, we have family that lived there and um, they had like three fans going it was in the middle of the summer um, they had uh, central air and they had also two air conditioners on top of their house all going at once and it was so hot and so humid um, and it was just terrible and I remember the temperatures being like 114 yeah it was pretty bad Yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys all will join us, um, me and Amanda, this Saturday night. It's going to be around 6, 6 uh, p.m. Saturday, and um, we're going to be doing it over at her house. And also, Amanda is going to be making a, it's kind of, she said it's kind of like a Polynesian drink type um, and I've never heard of it. It's called, oh my gosh, Otai or something like that. It's got like watermelon and coconut and stuff like that. And it looks like a really, really good drink. So, um, yeah, so Amanda's going to be making that um, when we're doing the auction for the quilts and these Hummels I got over here. And so if anybody likes to collect Hummels or... You know, you just want to come into the live and see what's going on. And also, um, we might be giving away a few prizes, too, during the live. So, um, that's something else for you guys to check out. I know a lot of people like coming into my lives um, when I uh, give stuff away and have my auctions and stuff. So, yeah. And it gives a few other people to get a few things you know if they can't bid on my quilts or on anything else um, you know and then my giveaways it gives them a chance to you know get something so alrighty okay so I've got these in and I'm gonna put them here on my oven and uh, for about 30 minutes 20 to 30 minutes is sh it should all all it should take um, usually I don't even let them sit that long. Usually I let them sit for about 15 minutes, but we're going to go probably 20 or maybe a little longer, maybe to puff them up a little bit bigger. So, um, I will be back after they get through rising for about 20 minutes and we are going to put them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes on 375 degrees. We will be right back. Hello everyone and I am back. Now I have been letting my rolls sit um, on top of my oven for about 30 minutes. They have started to rise just a little bit so I am going to put them in the oven. 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. This is preheated and they will rise just a little bit more when they're in the oven. So we will let them bake for 10 to 15 minutes um, while they're cooking keep an eye on them maybe check about 10 minutes after you put them in and see how they're doing um, and let them go maybe for a couple of more minutes and we'll be right back as soon as they're done hello everyone and I am back now our rolls are almost finished in the oven they've been in for about 10 minutes so we still got a couple more minutes and they'll be done but I want to show everybody how big Murphy's getting. He is so, so big. Oh my gosh, he's like five months, I believe. And um, he weighs over 30 pounds. Yes. And um, just look at these paws. He is still, I'll bet, going to gain at least another 20 pounds, right? <laughs> but he's my big bundle of joy, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're my baby. 
Yep, and I just love him. So I wanted to show everybody how big he's getting. Yes, he's my boy. <laughs> oh, come on, let's put you on the floor. There you go. Oh my goodness, such a big, big boy. Okay, let's put this over here. And let's take these rolled out because I believe they are done. They turned out really good. I'm going to brush them with a little bit of milk and butter here. Yeah, I probably could have left them in for just a couple more minutes to where they would brown up really good. But you see how big they puffed up after I put them in the oven? They do puff up on you pretty good. So. Nice and melted butter all over them. Yum. Oh, yeah. Yum, yum. Okay. And I want to take one out and show everybody. Ooh. They are kind of hot. Yeah, just took them out. So. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Alrighty. They are nice and fluffy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Very, very hot. <laughs> See how fluffy they are? Oh my gosh, yes. Ooh, yeah, very, very hot. Mm. Mm. Very good rolls. I think you guys will like these dinner rolls. Fast, easy. Very, very light, fluffy. Mm. Yummy. Yes. So, don't forget to try this recipe. I think you guys will really like them. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do and hit that thumbs up button. So, uh, that really helps me out. And ring that bell so you get my notifications. And I will see you guys Saturday for our big um, auction and giveaway. And making that wonderful... Uh, Polynesian Hawaiian type drink that Amanda's going to be making and uh, we will all um, see you Saturday and you all have a good day.